welcome back to my channel. So what I got for you guys today is my April BoxyCharm PR. This is the one that I do get for PR. I do not pay for this one. This is my gifted by Boxy box. <laughs> it's very different from my regular box. So actually very excited about that. So I'm going to go into this. This is not going to be a try on style, but it is going to be a try on style because I have the products on my face. The ones that I was able to to apply to my face, I have them on today. So I'm gonna be able to tell you guys what I think about them so far. And this video is also gonna have the winner of my February PR giveaway from BoxyCharm. If you guys remember, I haven't announced it because I never actually filmed my March PR box. So I completely forgot. But for February, I had a giveaway with my PR February box. So I'm gonna be announcing the winner to that box in this video at the end. That's when I will be announcing it. So for those of you that have been like, when are you gonna announce your February BoxyCharm PR giveaway winner? In this video. So as you guys know, the, the theme for April is sweet treats, super duper cute. And I'm super excited and I'm sure everybody is excited because in this um, box, Basically, I think everybody is either getting the Natasha Denona Ayana eyeshadow palette or the Natasha Denona Jubilee eyeshadow palette. And as you guys know, I'm loving this because BoxyCharm is allowing me to get into Natasha Denona this year. I said in my beauty resolutions video that I wanted to get into that brand this year. It was a brand that I wanted to try more of. So the palettes from Natasha Denona that I do have have been all because of BoxyCharm. So I have a total of three now. Um, I got one in October or November, I believe it was October of last year. And then I'm getting one now in my PR and I'm getting one also in my regular box. So let's just go right into that. So in my PR box, I got the Ayana eyeshadow palette. This retails for $48. And this is what this one looks like. People have like mixed thoughts on this. I actually got a comment <laughs> on my Instagram, my post where I put like what I had received in my PR box, I actually got a comment on that one from some lady saying like how she mu how much she hated this eyeshadow palette because it was all brown and it looks like poop and all this bunch of stuff. I'm like, oh my God. But yeah, guys, so this is it right here. I do have it on my eyes today. It's actually very, very pretty. The colors are very pretty when you look at them in person. And then when I put them here, I feel like they're not as pretty. So I don't know if it's actually picking them up, but I do have it on my eyes today. I have every single color on because I just wanted to try all the colors and see. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about every single color, but I think it actually looks really pretty on my eyes. So that's the look that I came up with. So basically I have this one like all over the lid. I have this one as like my outer corner. I have this one in the inner lid, this one in the middle lid, and this one is like also kind of like outer corner. <laughs> so I have like a mixture. Um, I'm gonna swatch them for you so you guys can actually see these colors. All right, so these are the first four. They're actually really pretty. It's like, it's very autumn-y. I think this palette is very autumn-y. And then here's that other shimmer at the end. This color right here is super weird. And the reason I'm gonna tell you that is because this color is this one right here. So I thought when I was applying it on my eye, I was like, well, this is like a light brown. It's gonna look nice, you know, whatever. And then when I applied it, it was like super dark. And then now that I'm swatching it, I feel like it's not as dark as it was on my eye. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. So I'll just give it a little swatch on my hand so you guys can kind of see. Even this one looks different. Like it looks different on my eye than it does. Those are the five colors here. I think this is just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so those are the five colors, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I know people that really like neutral colors. I'm pretty sure they will probably like this palette. It's very pretty. It's it's like that palette that you don't know how to feel about it. And then when you try it, it's really pretty. And of course, you guys know that my favorite is this one right here. I love it. This color looks horrible on camera, but it's actually not bad. I don't know. Anyhow. 
All right, so that's that for that. The next thing in here I was not able to try because this is a body cleanser. I wish I would have like taken a shower with this yesterday so I could talk to you about it. But this is from Terre de Mars and it's the Redition Body Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. It's a full size. It retails for $22. And I'm going to read to you what it says. So it says an organic, low foaming, aromatic and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary extracts infusion with ver verbena oil. Together, they tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. So yeah, I like anything with aloe vera in it. Let me see if it has a smell to it. Oh my God. Yeah, it does have a nice like rainforest kind of smell. Oh, I like it. I like it. The smells nice it's kind of weird okay the next product i did not try and i don't even know if i'm gonna swatch this because maybe i could include it in a giveaway but this is the laura geller iconic baked metallic sculpting lipstick and this retails for 21 dollars. now the issue with this is the color i don't think i'm ever gonna wear this color even though i have worn colors similar to this but My camera's taking a little long to focus. So this is it right here. And I've already heard from a lot of people that it's really dark, like almost black. I don't know if you guys can see that it has like, kind of like glitter or something in there. So it is a pretty color, but I, I think I would rather, obviously I wasn't gonna try that with this makeup. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't feel comfortable. And I'd rather instead of like just trying it and like wasting the product to just include it in a giveaway for you guys, which just so you guys know, there's gonna be a huge beauty giveaway coming soon. I have so many things guys, so many things to give to you guys and it's gonna be international. So anybody can enter. So just stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe because you will miss out okay the next thing is from eloise and this is the get gleaming body glow and this is basically a highlighter so i'm going to show you guys it retails for 38 dollars. this is it hello come on camera what's going on with you my camera's taking forever to focus now all right so this is the highlight so it's a non-sticky, lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body for a dazzling, buildable glow. It's transfer proof and it's filled with ultra sparkly reflex to radiate your skin. So I do have that highlighter on today. It's like a really subtle glow. So, I mean, it says it's buildable. This is what it looks like when you apply it on your skin. And I'm just gonna... I mean, I feel like you could see it more on my hand than you could see it on my face, for sure. But you see, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but for example, look at the difference of my two hands. It's going to give you like that subtle glow. It's not going to give you this like insane, I don't think it's going to give you this like insane highlight glow. It's going to give you like a healthy skin type of glow. So it's nice. That's what I have on my face today. I would have liked it to pop a little more, but I do like that it gives you like that healthy, that healthy glow, you know, like that healthy look glow, if you get what I mean. And then the last product in here is from Touch and Soul, and this is their Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. So I have this primer on today. And guys, you guys already know that primer is like an extra step. Um, it's not really a necessary step. So sometimes I'm like, okay, whatever. When I get primers, I do love the packaging. That's for sure. Cause it's nice and pink and the primer is pink. It's very pretty and it does smell really, really nice. I love the smell. So this is what the primer looks like. I did have this primer on today. I took my, whatever I used from the lid. So it's, basically this primer this is it here you see like can you see it so it's basically like a jelly consistency like jello kind of kind of 
a little less than that. But it's a nice consistency. Like I would use it because I felt my face like really refreshed. This retails for $32. I don't know if I told you that already. I did feel that my face was refreshed. That I did like. I have their other primer, which I did like for a while, which is this one right here. It's the No Problem Primer. I would prefer, I think, this one. I would prefer the pink one if I had to pick. Because, I don't know, like, this one says smooth and pore covering this one. But I don't know, like, I felt this one, the icy effect of it made my skin feel so refreshed. So I actually appreciated that part of this primer. With this one, you don't get that, obviously, because it's not an icy or, like, refreshing primer. It's just, like, your regular primer. I need to I need to do a project pan on this. Like, I really, I really, really enjoyed that aspect of this primer. I don't like getting primers because, like I said, it's an extra step, and I actually want to use up the ones that I have. I kind of, like, want to get rid of them. But I wouldn't mind using this one because of that, because it did, like, refresh my skin. Like, my skin just felt like a refreshment. You know, like it just got refreshed. So yeah, guys. So <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job explaining that, but those are the five things that I got in my BoxyCharm PR. Definitely a great, great box. I am not going to be doing a giveaway this time. I like that this, I like that this Illuminizer, you can put it on your, on your body too. Can you tell the difference between this hand and this hand? Because I can definitely tell the difference. I don't really know if the camera is going to pick it up. But this one, which is where I put the Illuminizer, has like that nice, healthy glow. So I think I would probably use this Illuminizer like on a daily basis on my body. Even though it has like that gleamingness to it, it's not that gleamingness where like you look like a disco ball. It's just a nice, healthy glow. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Maybe I should put this all over my face. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for my BoxyCharm PR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, my loves.